So here in this problem, we need to determine the value of the given trigonometric expression. Now clearly we see that in the numerator we have the sum of sine function. So here if we use the transformation formula where the sum of sine function transforms into the product of a sine and cosine function and in the denominator we have the sum of two cosine functions which will transform into the product of two cosine function. We will be using these two transformation formula. So let us begin. So what we'll do, we will rearrange the terms in the numerator. So we will take sine of angle 5a instead of 3a and then we're going to add it to sine of angle a fine and this is going to be one sum where we will be applying the transformation formula and we'll keep the second one that means sine of 3a aside the reason why we are doing this is because we know that uh, whenever we are doing the sum of two signs here we see that there is a sum of the angles divided by two so we can clearly observe if we add 5a with a it's going to give us 6a and the half of it is going to be equals to 3a so it's going to help us in taking the common factor so similarly in the denominator what we'll do we'll take cosine of 5a and then we will add it to cosine of angle a fine and add it to cosine of 3a so let's now apply the transformation formula so we have two times sine of angle so 5a plus a that's going to be 6a 6a divided by 2 will be 3a multiply to cosine of so the difference of the angles 5a minus a will be 4a 4a divided by 2 will be 2a plus sine of angle 3a whole divided by now we have two times cosine of angle 3a times cosine of angle 2a plus cosine of angle 3a fine so what we'll do we'll take sine 3a as the common factor so we have sine of 3a this will get multiplied to 2 times cosine of 2a plus 1 whole divided by now we can take cosine of 3a as the common factor so we have cosine of 3a and to it we'll multiply 2 times cosine of 2a plus 1 now immediately we observe that 2 cosine of 2a plus 1 gets factored out from the numerator and the denominator and it leaves us with the ratio sine 3 over cosine 3a which is nothing but the tangent functions. We get tangent of 3a and this is going to be the value of a given trigonometric expression.